That's the sound of Game 3 in the Canucks versus Predators playoff series. And the fans aren't cheering for the players on the ice, but rather on the big screen. The screen is off the charts. I've never seen a screen this big and that clear, so it's really good. Just because the Canucks are playing on home ice doesn't mean the fans don't get to experience it from inside Rogers Arena. This is the first ever playoff viewing party, and the fans are just as energetic as if they're watching it in person. It's amazing. It's uh, elect I haven't been to uh, one of the actual playoff games, but this is this is still very electric. It's yeah, it's amazing. I love the environment. We have a reputation of being a no fun city. Bring more of this back to Vancouver because we need this. This is awesome. You don't see any other team doing this, do you? There's no other team in the playoffs doing this. Just Canucks. At 15 bucks a ticket, the viewing party drew in a family-friendly crowd and the proceeds going to the Canucks for Kids Fund. More than 11,000 fans packed into the arena and got the home game treatment with live music, concession food, playoff towels, and some even got to meet Canuck alumni goalie Kirk McLean. You feel it. Everything's ramped up. Um, expectations are high from the fans, and but that's what we get paid for. That's what they get paid for, they, they, these type of moment, moments. Um, and you'll see the best rise to the top. And rise up, they did. Canucks winning the game 2-1, and the fans were ecstatic. That was good. Uh, one of our favorite nights coming to the Canucks game. That was good. It was a good time. We are the greatest oh team in the world! Yeah, yeah, Casey Smith, one of the best of all time. To be honest, a guy like him coming in a, in a situation like this where nobody expected anything. And he's just so clutch. Canucks once again leading the series 2-1. The next game will still be away in Nashville this Sunday. In Vancouver, Cecilia Hua, City News.